It is time for another edition of Q&A Today, where we answer your questions about anything and everything. <laughs> and we're still thinking of our trip to Hilton Head Island. So we have a summer theme this morning. So are we ready for our first question? Okay. Yes. okay. Okay, so our first question comes from one of our audience members on Hilton Head Island, Teresa. Al, you can take this one. Okay. I'm wondering if you have any trendy summer grilling tips for me. Ooh. Ooh. I, I don't have any trendy uh, grilling tips, but the one that I think, and Matt Abdu kind of touched on this, people, when they're grilling, you, they move their meat too mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. on the grill. If, if you're doing proteins, whether it's chicken or fish or beef, burgers especially, don't keep flipping it yes. up back and forth and back. And whatever you do, whether it's a steak or don't press mm -hmm. down on it because, uh, like, they, there's, there's a whole trend now, these smash burgers. Yeah, right? they are. I, 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 no. I'm not a big yeah. fan of that. Uh, you know, just let it sit, and you'll know the, the meat will let you know when it's time to flip it because it'll release from the grill mm. and you'll it makes it and easier then to you flip. flip it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Good tip. Very cool. Yeah. All right, now Dylan, this one is from you. Okay. okay. You coming from one of our Hilton Head audience members, Lori. Hey, Lori. I want to know what Dylan's going to do with her kids in the hot city this summer. Uh. It was hot down there, but you were right next to the beach. But, <laughs> yeah. um, so one thing I love to do in the city, kids love water yes. of any kind. Um, so I'll fill up a bucket with water balloons or I'll, you know, fill up a gallon jug of water, put it in a bag and just, you know, fill up buckets with cups. And they just they can sit there for hours and mm. they naturally get soaking wet. So it cools sure. them down. They don't even realize that <clears throat> they're in the hot sun because they're just nice and cool. Have you been to Brooklyn Bridge Park? There's so I mean they're, they're all over the city. Sure. The water features oh, in all those, the parks yeah. all over the, the city. sprinklers. My kids they'll love it. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how cold the water is. They'll do it. Yeah, they'll do it. Mm. All right. Jacob, so we have a viewer question on uh -oh. Instagram for you. This is from Steve. He says, Did you always want to be a reporter when you were growing up? Ah, I saw this question. So I brought a visual aid. The answer oh. is yes. Do we have it? I sure hope this so. This is me. This is young... With <gasps> one hand. Oh, so wow. Tips Goodness. for young reporters. If you want to be a journalist, keep one hand in the pocket. <laughs> well, and that's me oh also. Oh my gosh. Wow, I still so do this you're... sometimes when I'm not getting on TV a lot. I just make myself a You have your own TV. Oh, Wait, Jacob, this is amazing. That's right. That you, crazy? I like that first picture. You were like a, a one man band. Yeah. One man you band. shot your own OMB. stuff. Just trying Very to be John. Good. How old were you? <laughs> I was there. I don't know. What did I look like? Probably seven. Yeah, eight, that's eight, great. Eight. Okay. I loved it. Always Is that wanted like an to old do JVC? it. A dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Uh, speaking of aspiring journalists, our today intern Valeria has a great question Ooh. for Chanel. As a matter of fact. Oh, okay. Watch this. Do you have any go-to or favorite interview questions that you have found can get some really interesting answers? Huh. Oh. That's a really good, question. A good question. You know what I think that I didn't necessarily learn until you know, I got into the business, which is, it's not just about the interview when you sit down and you have the conversation with the person, it's what you're saying when you sit down mm. so that they're ready yes. for you when oh. you start. Huh. So usually if somebody's coming Sometimes in, that's, the hardest. that's yep. the hardest part because if you just sit down and you start your interview, you're starting you're cold. Mm -hmm. So I like to ask people where they're from just because mm -hmm. I'm genuinely curious and you learn a lot about a person when you find, like Jay just told me, he's from Tulsa. I'm like, wait, my family's right. from there. You know what I mean? Jealous. And Side then you just, yeah. Oh, wow. And everybody's nice and comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another there good tip. Go. Yeah. So, Jacob, you're a Oh, wait, guest Jacob, yeah, your turn. Uh, you packed your bags oh, uh, to be here today. Uh, so, why don't you take this next one okay. from our uh, That's a deal. Nikki? All right. What's the one thing you always forget to pack? Oh, hair. What is that? Forget <laughs> to pack? Forget to pack. Hair product. So, last oh, night. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> hair I need a haircut. Last night, I got in really late, like 1 a.m., and I realized that my, so I went to CVS. I had to find a CVS. Do you have like a regimen for your hair? I just put a little stuff in, might do a little blow dry from time to time. Yeah. You never know. You just don't wake up. Look at Al's <laughs> laughing, shaking his head. <laughs> Let's, why don't we just move on, ladies and gentlemen? Let's <laughs> cap it off with a question for all of us from another Hilton Head Island viewer. Lori, Lori, save me, please. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm dying to know what your favorite summer cocktail is. All oh, right. all right. Who's first? Let's go, go ahead. ahead. I've been on a margarita kick Same. lately. I've just mm. been I've, spicy or no spicy? No spice. Oh, I do spice. Straight, Straight up cocktail. margarita. How about kick? you? Um, mine's called the Gold Rush. We discovered oh. it at a party we threw this weekend. What's it's got it? a little bourbon. It's got a splash of lime. Right. Um, all right. And it's Dill? Oh, you have the spicy margarita. Okay. I got a spicy. Yeah. Okay. Is that you know. one of your go-to? Spicy marg. Cheers, What's guys. Yours? And, Is that water? Uh, well, no, it's not water. And, and, of course, I mean, I talk about the Aperol Spritz. But oh my, God, my drink of uh, choice uh, discovered a few summers ago, the gin and tonic. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. 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 I've this heard of it. This is so good. 
This is really oh, spicy. And I forgot to say honey simple I, syrup. This I is think really we spicy. need, to, I think like we need to end the show like this every oh day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is fantastic. This is Remember amazing. what happened last time we Last did time we did this, it was yeah. Christmas. I was here. I was wasted. <laughs> oh, exactly. I think I just <laughs> but is it a waste? Salt. Not, Not really. really. Not really. No, no. The joy that we had. Mm. Uh, yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the cheer. questions, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting you ready for summer. And what better way to celebrate warmer weather than a backyard party? Today, contributor Elizabeth High School is here. She has some quick and easy ideas to help us entertain. No stress, no mess. Just yum. That's it. You know, the thing is about summer entertaining that makes it so e easy and fun is that, you know, you don't have to do it inside. You're going to go outside. Mother Nature's already decorated everything yes. for you. You don't have to worry about dust bunnies under your couch. I like you a paper plate, be, yeah. too. Yes, Can absolutely. we just say amen to a paper We've plate? We've got amazing paper plates. So we're going to start with burgers. And these aren't just your average burgers. Honey, we are going to stuff these with pimento cheese. <laughs> I know. Two of my favorite things in the entire world. By the way, you're now, speaking this Southern or I know, I know. Please look at them. They're so excited. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and give them but They want the pimento. And the she, pickles. Thank she you. Wants Don't the forget this is one of the best days of my life. Other than the children. So now, the thing you need to remember is that mm -hmm. you don't want to overstuff this. I mean, you want to because we love it so much, but if you do too much, well, wait a minute. it's okay. just going to ooh and goo everywhere. It's ground beef. Yes. Okay, I guess I should have started you there. Okay, well, I, I got know. excited about the know, but... cheese. So it's onions, it's ketchup, it's a little bit of egg to help bind it, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Okay. We're going to add that in here. So right. you can go ahead and start right. that. Why I'll don't do you do that? I'll do that. And I'm getting to my part that I'm so excited okay, about. Okay, me too. And then we're going to take our other patty. We're going to put it on top. Now, you just want to press and seal. Press and seal. Okay. Make sure that you get that really, really sealed because otherwise when we get over here to this pan, yeah. it's going to turn into so a mess. So you used a melon don't. scooper, not an ice cream scooper. A melon scooper is the right amount well, of It cheese. really is. It okay. really is. All right. Okay. Now, we want to make sure we got to get this pan as hot as the hinges of hell. I mean, it has <laughs> got to be so damn hot, hot. That's hot. because hinges otherwise it's just, it is <laughs> not going to get that beautiful crust. All right. Let hell. it sit. Got it. Check. Let it sit. Yes. Don't start bothering it with this spatula. Leave it alone. I always see people in there. Scrape yeah, I like scratching. to do a nice press down. No, no. you don't know. You no. press down, oh, okay. you lose all the juices. The juices stay in. Okay. So now we have our gorgeous Can burger. I stop doing that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. And we're gonna fill this burger. But wait, the hot pan isn't it gonna get burned on the outside? No. Make sure it cooks. No, through. no, no. You want that caramelized crust. I mean, that's what the burger. That's okay. the best part of okay. it. Okay. So it's perfectly fine. We're going to go about um, seven minutes on each side. That'll okay. be done and ready to go. Got it. Now, we're just going to add bacon. We've got some bread and butter pickles. Mm. You mm. don't need to go mucking this up with a bunch of stuff. What it's about sauce? Like, well, I, was I mean, a, you could. You can. A dry bun? I mean, if you want that, you can have it. A little bit of mayonnaise is fine. A little bit of ketchup. Mm -hmm. But you've got all that good pimento inside. You don't need Okay, wait. Let's lot get a verdict from the taste test. You could put a little more it's pimento delicious. on top. Uh, you could put pimento yeah. on top. There's never Absolutely. enough pimento. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is our cornbread salad. I mean, I'm telling you, it will salad. make potato salad look like a fool. <laughs> it is the finest thing. And I know it sounds strange. It's, it looks so pretty. But kind of think croutons. Think cornbread mm -hmm. croutons okay. uh -huh. is where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. And then you layer up all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. You've got cheese. You've got bacon. You've got ranch dressing. Yes. And honey, there ain't anything better. Say and amen. Then, and, I mean, seriously, we've got a little bit of fresh corn. Layer, layer, layer. And then let it sit. Let it all that goodness really? soak in. Was there a trick to making it, it look so pretty divine. and getting a layer like well, that? Well, no. I mean, it's super simple. You layer. can start with your cornbread and then you add all of your other things and then continue to layer it up. And it'll be that pretty. All right. Now we're getting to my favorite part, and that's a cocktail. Yeah. Woo! Um, so we've got some watermelon mojitos. Mm -hmm. But look what we're going to do. So, so you have your watermelon. We mm -hmm. need to, we got to cut it out anyway. So why don't we just save it? I mean, let's leave this. We're going to pull this, and then we're going to make this oh, fabulous yeah, yeah, yeah. little cooler. Is that not adorable? Yeah, we'll show that in a minute. And you can even get a bigger watermelon if you want. We're going to keep scooping. You want to keep scooping? Sure. Okay, we'll let you scoop for just a second. <laughs> sure. Um, so all work. we do is we do a simple syrup with sugar, mint, and water. We're mm -hmm. going to cook that down, let it cool. What do you mean cook? We're, we're going to boil. Like put it, we're you're going to heat this up? Yeah. Oh. No, 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 I'm sorry. We're going to make a simple syrup first okay. when we're making the drink. I'm going to oh, go okay. back to talking about the drink. Okay. So we have our water, we have our sugar, and a little bit of mint. Mm -hmm. Let that, um, you know, cook it, let it melt, mm -hmm. and then we're going to cool it. Okay. And then we add that to our frozen watermelon chunks. Mm -hmm. Once we take this out of here, we want to put this in the freezer, let it freeze, and then we're going to put it all in the blender and blend it up. So okay. it's a frozen cocktail. We'll top it with a little bit of club soda. Mm -hmm. Here is our absolutely beautiful this watermelon. This is so cute. So you just scooped it out and made an ice bucket. Exactly. Nice. And now, yeah, look, yeah. the thing is, though, is that you want, I love this. This is a, it's a gift to bring to your hostess. Oh. You want to know how to be a good guest so yes. that you can invite it back. I mean, if you were 
raise right, you know to bring some. Of course. Yes. And um, and so this is one of my favorites. It's paper plates, adorable paper plates. And then the little tag says, oh, let me do the dishes. <laughs> so you bring that. That's you've so got cute. the paper plates. Isn't well, that adorable? Funny. And there are lots of really fun ones. Like, look at the ones they've it. got. So they've got these wonderful bamboo plates. Mm -hmm. You can throw it away. Yep. Nobody's going to be in the kitchen cussing because they were left to do all the dishes. <laughs> so, but I didn't even know you were doing this paper plates thing. And that's the first thing I thought of. If you're outside... Paper plates. You've got to. Yes. I mean, it really does make it so much more simple. And that's what summer's about. Summer is easy, mm. laid back, and fun. Did y'all taste that drink? It's got yes. Yeah. So so even the mocktail yeah. was good. That, I don't know oh, how you oh, did good. it. Burger Thank you. Thank you. Recipes at today.com slash food. We're firing up the grill to help you dive into the holiday weekend. And joining us is Pitmaster and now author, finally, yes. Kevin Bloodsoe. Just relieved Bloodsoe's barbecue cookbook. His very first. Kev, good morning. It's so great to have nice you. To have what do you want there. readers to know about this great cookbook when they buy it for their fathers for Father's Day? I just want to let you know this book is family. That's what it's all about. Father's Day, Memorial Day. It's like Sunday dinner. Every page on that book is like Sunday dinner. Open it up, enjoy it, enjoy your family, so show some love, and use those recipes and eat And good. your recipes start, you were in Compton as a kid to stay out of trouble, you would go visit your grandma in Texas, of course, and she taught you the slow and low Texas barbecue way, and you've made a whole career I've out of it. I've been doing it low and slow like show a 6 ever it. since. Show the master. I'm going to whip like up this four. rub right quick for y'all and keep it fast. A little pepper, a little cumin. A little garlic. Now, you got a secret to this, or is this what you use? Oh, yeah, I ain't going to tell y'all everything, okay, but I'm okay. going to tell y'all a little bit of it. A little garlic salt. Is this my brew right here? Yeah, that's your brew. You're looking out. Where's my Appreciate cognac? You. A little right. chili powder. We got the eaters over there tasting it. Oh, Guys, yeah. you can just jump I'm right in. This is it. Y'all eating good today. What's We've the key to, the, to the rub? Both, both uh, sides, right? Both sides, and then uh, the balance of the sugar and the salt. Yep. You know, a lot of people take it so serious. Man, have some fun when you barbecue. Look at all these beautiful people out right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you have to have a smoker? Can you can you make your type of food without owning a smoker? I mean, you know, the book, that's the best thing about the book, course, because it shows you how to do the same thing on a Weber grill, a, a damn hibachi, or whatever you need. You right. can do it on whatever. Right. It's you know. soul. Yeah, it's all about cooking. And, Where's you know? Big Mama parked right now? Not double parked uh, before you? Nah, nah. Uh, she's in uh, L.A. right now. Okay. Kevin's got a, a portable her. smoker that has, like, how many, 20 briskets you can do? No, 75 briskets. Okay, 75. Well... Wow. I eat 20 of them. All right, let's move Let's move it down. We got them. Oh, so the mustard is just really to just, hold this. Yeah, this just side. to hold everything on there. I don't really even taste that it. Is, even that is, my chicken is so warm. Oh, my so gosh. Bitter, yeah, like I said, it's a lot of sugar in this. Generous amount. Oh, yeah. You got to make that All right, let's keep it moving. So how long are you going to cook it on the grill, Kev? Put it on here low and slow like a 6 fold for about uh, uh, for about uh, three hours, three and a half three hours. hours. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. And then when they get done, we're going to get down and we're going to eat. What do you like to eat with the ribs? You got it. Uh, I like potato salad. I like mac Carson, and cheese. I like greens. I like all that. All right, we'll Carson, try it. Try it. Right, well, you got egg in here? Oh, I got egg right here. Let if me whip this eggs. up. Yeah. All right, you can do that. How about the get my hands oh dirty. Where are we to kick off? And the thing about oh. potato salad, don't, start put no, don't put no pecans in your damn potato salad. Oh. I'll tell you that right now. Oh you got to pick up the cookbook, man. It is oh awesome. God. It's got great stories. Oh You're crushing God. it. In California, where I grew up, nobody did barbecue. Kev is the man. He brought it. He, he, he brought barbecue. All we knew was quinoa and kale. <laughs> Finally, we got barbecue. Thanks to Blood So Barbecue. Thanks, man. So be sure and check it out. Man. And thank you. He's going to come back next hour. All these recipes are at today.com slash food. Find Blood So's Barbecue Cookbook at today.com slash shop. Welcome back. Let's talk about your health now. It's time for Superfood Friday, and today we're talking dessert. Joy Bauer is here to show us how to sneak superfoods into three sweet summer treats. Somehow you did it, but <laughs> I can't it. wait to eat so it all. So the first superfood is the raspberry, Ooh. and I love raspberries because they're one of the highest fiber fruits in town. I didn't There's know that. Eight grams of fiber per one cup. That's a huge amount. So okay. fiber aids in digestion. It keeps you feeling full, and it also enhances heart health. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, the plant compounds within raspberries also can boost memory. Nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a no-bake dessert pizza. Look, look at this guy. beauty. It's so pretty. So all we do is we start with um, our watermelon. Mm -hmm. You slice it just like that. You make you know four, uh, four different quarters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add on 
whoop, a little bit of yogurt. Nice, and Dylan, just Greek yogurt. Put, yeah, put on some toasted oh, pecans. Mm. And of course, dark chocolate right chips. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it needs some chocolate chips yes. at the dessert. And this is some toasted coconut. Nice. And so it's so fun. It's really it's easy really to good. do, and um, you could really put on whatever toppings you want. Let's put awesome. on a little. If you have friends over and you present that, how cool is that? They think you I are so it. clever, so nice. and it's very simple now, this and delicious. Like my jam. What is this? <laughs> so the next superfood is a peach. Okay. Cool. Peaches are great. They are juicy. They're refreshing. They scream summer, and they're more than 85% water, which means they're super hydrating. They mm -hmm. also have plant compounds that have been shown in some small studies to reduce the occurrence. Of breast cancer. Really? Yeah, really? so we have to keep on top of that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What are we going to make with a peach? We I are going to make peach cobbler. a southern peach crumble. <laughs> How do you make a healthy peach cobbler? And oh, I did it. Crumble. There's way less sugar. So okay, here, okay. I skipped oh, wow. a step and I'm actually using frozen sliced peaches and I mix it mm. with some vanilla that extract, taste a little at all. bit. It is. Really? I do add a little bit of maple syrup in mm -hmm. here, but not too much. And I think all the other flavors, the peaches are what's shining through. Right. This one in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then you have the crumble. The crumble is ground flax seeds. No way. And really? it's almond flour and oats. So it's gluten free. And it's actually vegan as well. Wow. And then you just pop this in the oven. And uh, you get this a delicious southern peach crumble. And the peaches peach are crumble. so sweet this time of year that exactly. you don't need that extra And you sugar. can use the frozen peaches really? in the winter as well. This yes. is amazing, delicious. Joy. Okay, we have one So this, this you're going to love. Is this a milkshake? This is all about lime. Okay. Lime is great. It's packed with vitamin C, which is wonderful for the complexion. It also helps to increase plant-based iron, which is important because a lot of people are eating vegan meals yep. right now. Right. So what do you do when you have a key lime? You make key lime pie milkshake. Never Ooh. heard of it. That sounds amazing. <laughs> so it with no added sugar. Right. So what we have here is almond milk mm -hmm. with dates. Dates are going to puree and give it a nice natural sweetness. And we have vanilla extract and some ice cubes. Okay. And then we're going to add a little secret ingredient. No, no, we're not even going to, we're going to fake it. You okay. can take this oh, off. We go. We're going to add cauliflower. Well, what? Oh, we're going to add off. lime zest That's and cauliflower. lime juice. And then we're going to garnish Why it does with. Why blender have a child lock on it? I know. Okay, okay you wait. Just put Here cauliflower we go. in my smoothie. Here we go. There. Are we You're ready? not going to taste it. Taste right. that thing. Really? This is lime juice, lots of vitamin C. Is that good? Wow, that's refreshing. I like it. It's oh, that's thick delicious. and it's creamy this and it's good for you. Wow. I would mean, <laughs> cheers. Who even thinks of doing that? I that's do. Cool. <laughs> Joy, thank you so much for these you recipes. Go to today.com slash food. This week, we've been checking off our summer bucket list. And if you've been thinking about hosting a dinner party, we've got some ideas you can easily throw together this weekend. And we hear, Jenna, there is a BLT oh, bar Just like what involved. we need is more pork. Okay, <laughs> my kind of party. And here to tell us about that and more is Nathan Turner, author of I Love California, Design and Entertaining the West Coast Way. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Nathan. I'm a fan of your design. You're very talented, but you're also great at throwing a party. So we've already had a hot dog meets a uh, apple pie together this morning. You guys so are way ahead of me. So. <laughs> so and say hi to Tina the plant for me as oh, well. I will. Yeah. I know. We She's will. doing well. Okay, can we start good. with cocktails? Every good party yes, needs a drink. cocktails. It's one of the most important things. Um, summer in a glass is my favorite. Sangria. Everyone loves it, but I make it with white wine or champagne. This is white wine, peaches, grapes. It's super summery. Oh, yum. This is another one of my favorites. Basically, it's like a really great margarita bar, but you put a bunch of fresh fruit on ice, let people make their own. You can serve, make it non-alcoholic if you want. You can have vodka, tequila, whatever. Muddle it all into a glass, and it's really fun, too. Yum. That looks great. So flowers are a big part of decorating, I know. But today, in New York City, the heat index is 106, and I'm not making that yeah, up. Yeah, it's a little warm. So what it's kind of flowers warm. hold up outside in the summer? I always say go in your backyard and see what you have. Oh, I didn't good. have these in my backyard, but stuff like sunflowers are really hardy. Greens, uh, take a branch from one of your, your trees in the backyard yeah, and, and, and make a big arrangement out of it. And it's really uh, pretty and holds up to this heat. Okay, so evidently colorful gingham is having a moment, which we can see on your tables with the green and the yes. yellow. What's a way to elevate our table decor? Well, here's a couple of ideas. Gingham is having a moment, and don't be afraid to mix match. I have yellow and green and large and small checks. Um, and then also 
Uh, I do these little like votives. These are really inexpensive and easy to make. Take a plain votive, dip it in a little bit of paint, and then oh. leave it out to dry, and you have custom colored votives. Oh, that's wow. so cool and easy. We've all used these little bamboo cutlery, and you can put a little bit of decorative tape, and it all ties into your color scheme. Obviously, today I'm doing a really cheerful green and yellow. Mm -hmm. Where do you get those, that bamboo cutlery? You can just get it on online somewhere oh, you can get online honestly i find it at most supermarkets at this point you ever and I, 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 sorry i was gonna ask I'm if you the ikea swedish meatball candles but no <laughs> swedish meatball it's a whole other thing has Learning a something swedish new meatball every day. candle it it's doesn't really back. smell like yeah. a meatball though uh, well, sorry i interrupted you go ahead <laughs> No, it's fine. I don't. This is one of the only disposable items I like. Um, I, I'm a big fan of, of outdoor dishes like melamine, or in this case, these metal dishes from Barn Light Electric. You can use them over and over again, and you just can't break them. And they look great. Okay, so what they do, they look really pretty, and your tablescape is gorgeous. So what's a good option for food right now when it's super hot? Well, yeah, it's summer, and one of my favorite ingredients of the summer is tomatoes. So why not make basically a BLT station mm. that I have oh. here? I took a cutting board, put a little bit of craft paper on top oh. so I can label everything. I have all these gorgeous heirloom tomatoes, bacon, avocado. My favorite, might freak people out, avocado, uh, avocado tomato, and anchovy. You have um, me till the anchovy part. You can hold the anchovy. <laughs> no, I lose a lot of yeah. people there. <laughs> But this is also great for people that don't eat meat, or you can, everybody, everyone loves a build your own. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those tomato, the key to the BLT yes. is a good, hearty, a crisp really tomato. Good. You and don't it's want it to be mushy. Yeah. Now, what are we doing no, with our ice cream outside at the party, tomato. Nathan? And desserts. I love an ice cream sandwich. Nothing screams mm -hmm. summer more, but why not make it with some alternative ingredients? I have waffles, donuts. Rice Krispie treats, oh and God. here's a great little tip to put them on ice. These are just two sheet pans, and you can put the larger one with ice and layer it with the smaller one. It keeps it cool. Just a genius. Yeah, and that what looks are, Do great. I see some pies in there? I some know, mini we've pies. I'm really craving Everyone an apple pie. Everyone loves pie, but why not make it portable? <laughs> hand pies. Yeah. Make a little hand pie, a little bit of whipped cream in there, and. There's all kinds of different flavors in here. Wow. Oh, that looks so good. Nathan, such great ideas. Stay cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, guys. We need to go to his dinner. Uh, yes, parties. I know. Yeah. His dinner parties look fun. <laughs>
We just carry it around our waist. Uh, Jenna, is that the pool first? Into the blue ball. Gold medal. Blue ball. Ah! Oh! I, you know what? Can I share it? Because I, I feel a little... Why? Because you didn't finish cornhole or the other one? No. <laughs> I didn't finish the cornhole, so but was it fun? Okay. Happy summer. Happy summer, y'all. This is fun. All right, we kind of both win. Look how it. I think this Wait. is what Feral Girl Summer looks like. It does. Right? It's fun. It's wild. You don't care. Okay. okay.